Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Our guest is Father Peter Fawerda, a Catholic priest in Victoria, and we'll be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje, a little village in Bosnia-Herzegovina where Our Lady has been appearing since June the 24th, 1981, and every day she's been appearing to the visionaries since then. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you very much, Mirella. And she hasn't been appearing to... The, every visionary since then, every day. Three of them every day still see her since June the 24th, 1981, and yes. the other three see her at different times. Yes, that's that's right. Yeah. Yes. But before we started, you always wanted to say something. Oh, yes. Yeah. I um, This place has, has been, been a major factor in, in coming to priesthood for me, so it's helped me enormously in my life and still continues to help me. But whatever the church decides on it, I will abide by um, so I just want to say that at the start, whatever mm. uh, decision the church makes as regards the authenticity of these apparitions, I, I uh, will abide, abide by yeah. it. I was just thinking when you said that, what happens if there's a priest that really, like really, really believe, like say, say Father Yozo, for example, yes. Yes. and he was a big, very prominent figure of priest in that time and still is today. If the, pre, if the Catholic faith, if the Catholic church said it, it's not true, they, they said it's not true, he wouldn't, I don't think he would, what would he do? <laughs> yes, uh, he had personal experiences, yeah, of course. Yeah, really big experiences um, where he heard God talking to him as well. Yes, he did. And um, yes, I, it's probably a hypothetical question. I, no. I don't know what yeah, I don't know. would happen. Well, anyway, I think it, it's a blessed place and everything will work out for the best. Yes. Whatever happens, because it's all in God's hands. Well, yeah. the, the Pope has appointed uh, an apostolic representative there mm. now. So, That's um, right, yeah. Archbishop Henrik Hoser, yeah. who's been there for some time now. Yeah. And so that's a beautiful step. Yeah. Um, and they also say you can tell by the fruits and thousands and millions and millions of people go there. Yes. Including prime ministers of different countries and people yes. incognito, you know, from their countries that, you know, maybe, yes. like, I don't know if Trump's been there. <laughs> I'm not sure, but um, yes, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I've met in my 22 visits there, yeah. I've met all sorts of people. Yeah. I oh, praise yeah, God priest, that, yeah. that that I've been had, able to have those experiences both before I became a priest and since becoming a priest. Yeah. It's been a, a wonderful experience for yeah. me. Martin Sheen was there. Michael York was in a movie made on Medjugorje. I see. In, yes. Hollywood actors. So, yes. <laughs> you know, it's reaching everybody <laughs> far and wide. <laughs> To the little people who just who would walk from one one country to another on on a pilgrimage to get there because they've got no money, you yes. know. You know, I remember when I first went there, there were people that sleeping just in sleeping bags outside. They had no money for rooms or anything, but they would travel from Romania or some other country yes. and just walk old people, and it's amazing, beautiful. But anyway, we'll let, read the message. Okay. Our Lady said on February the twenty fifth, two thousand and nineteen, to everybody in the world. Our Lady said, Dear children, today I am calling you to a new life. It is not important how old you are. Open your heart to Jesus, who will transform you in this time of grace. And like nature, you will be born into a new life in God's love. And you will open your heart to heaven and the things of heaven. I am still with you because God permitted me out of love for you. Thank you for having responded to my call. This message is, I love this message. I want to make a song of this message. It's just so beautiful. Like yes, it's it all is. a new beginning. I'm calling you to a new life. Yes. So if we take this on, we, we take it on seriously, yes. you know? Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm now life. 71 and I'm learning something all the time. Yes. And so you're never too old to learn something new, particularly about our most precious Catholic faith. Yes. It's, um, it's just a beautiful experience to yeah. to get to know something exactly. more each day. Or, or and we're very blessed. I think, you know, I don't even know if we thank God enough for being in this faith. Like, I don't even know if I do. I've been born into the mm. Catholic faith. 
But, you know, yes. really, I'm really grateful that I'm Catholic and I'm really grateful yes. to be in this faith. There's so much richness in it. There's so much beauty in it. Yes, absolutely, Morella. I, I find the same and perhaps it took me many years to appreciate that more and it's especially since becoming a priest 12 years ago that mm. that um, I've appreciated just how precious it is yeah. and I'm still getting to know more about it. Mm. So it is a wonderful yeah. uh, value system that's unequaled in my opinion by any other value system. Yeah, absolutely. So Our Lady said, I'm calling you to a new life. It is not important how old you are. So it doesn't matter how old anyone is, you know. No. We, everybody is called. You can be yes. just born or 150 yes. years old. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> if exactly. you're lucky, 150. <laughs> Open your heart to Jesus, who will transform you in this time of grace. So she's saying, it doesn't matter what, how old you are, we can all open our heart to Jesus. Yes. You know, you can be a child and open your heart to Jesus. You can be like a very old person and open your heart to Jesus. And something will happen, like something will really yes. change in your life. You will have a new life. Yes, absolutely, Morella. I, I suppose I experienced it personally, that if you do say what's in your heart um, unreservedly to mm. Jesus and to Mary, his mother, our mother, um, you get to know yourself a bit better by just speaking honestly with him whatever uh, mm. you have on in your, in your heart. Yeah, it's you, beautiful. Just, and you can do just, that forever sometimes. Yes. You find the moment to do it. It's just you don't want to stop. Yes, so. that's right. And it, it makes you feel good because you've discovered something maybe about your, your own self. Yeah. It's uh, through prayer, yeah. you know, so it, it is, it's beautiful advice coming from our Blessed Mother. It's absolutely beautiful. And so open your heart to Jesus who will transform you. So he, he'll make you new. Yes. So what's going to yes. happen to us? We don't know. Yes. If we yes. open our heart to Jesus, we don't know. We'll, we'll, let's do this all together. Let's today open our heart to Jesus and see how we feel tomorrow. We'll be different. We'll be different yes. people. Because he's going to transform us if we do it in that spirit, with him wanting, with him transforming us. Yes, I'm. I'm not quite sure of the wording, but not long ago, Our Lady gave a message saying that um, even if you take, you're taking along a new path that you're not used to, that she will be with you. Yeah. You know, so Jesus might want to lead uh, you or me or anyone yeah. that's watching this this program. Yeah. He want to might want to lead us in a path that we're unfamiliar with, yeah. but he'll, he'll hold our hand, if, and so will Mary, will, our Blessed Mother Mary will hold our hand as we, if we cooperate with whatever grace that Jesus is offering yeah. us. And we'll go on this journey. Yeah. Yes, we'll go on a different journey, yes. We have to go to a break now. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Peter Ford, a Catholic priest in Victoria, and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 25th of February 2019. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. And I'm going to read what Our Lady said. Our Lady said also, so I'll continue what she said. She said, open your heart to Jesus who will transform you in this time of grace. So we're in a time of grace. And like nature, you'll be born into a new life in God's love. I think that's so powerful because she's saying he's going to trans Jesus will God will transform us. Jesus will transform us yes. into a new life, like nature, like a like a new a new flower blossoming, yes. a new seed coming out, and a, a completely new flower yes. coming out. We'll That's have, what we'll be like. <laughs> we'll have a, a spiritual springtime, I suppose yeah, you could call it like yeah. that, you know, where we will blossom. And just we, we need, I suppose, all of us, you, mm. me, everyone, needs to be just open to God's yes. grace and to yeah. respond to it. And he calls us in sometimes most unusual ways. Yeah. Uh, that, But if we are, try and become prayerful people, mm. he will give us his graces and he'll 
show us the way and he'll walk that way with us. He says, I, I'm with you mm. till the end of time. And how do you suggest we open our heart to Jesus? Are there some tips you can give people? Because people will want to open their heart to Jesus to transform their lives. Yes. Because they'll be hearing this maybe for the first time and think, well, I do want to transform my life. But how do I open my heart to Jesus to do that, to well, let him transform it? It's a very good question. Um, in confession, mm -hmm. we have a beautiful sacrament of reconciliation or confession or penance. It has, has those three names. Um, when I was a boy, it, it was called confession, but more... Now it's called more uh, reconciliation or penance. And in that, we're admitting our mistakes to, to God, really. The priest is there acting in the part of Jesus, um, but it's really Jesus hearing us what we're talking, what, whatever we say. And that's a beautiful way of opening your heart. And also when you're just at prayer time, um, to try and be in, in an undistracted environment, um, kneel down on the next to your bed or wherever in, in a private situation and tell God how you're feeling, whether you're feeling good, mm. if something nice has happened to you, share it with him. Mm. If you're feeling awful, something bad has happened to you or you're going through some particular crisis in your life, tell mm. him exactly how you feel and ask him to help you. Just be very humble in your prayer. Mm. That's how I would interpret what Mary, our Blessed yeah. Mother Mary is saying here, to be open. Open your heart to Jesus, who will transform you in this time of grace. And like nature, you'll be born into a new life in God's love. So it's beautiful. You'll be, we'll be born into God's love if we do this. Like, And it's not like, I think people, we're so used to a fast-paced life, like fast food, you mm. drive through, you pay your money, you get it immediately. Yes. You know, whereas with prayer, you've got to you've got to take the time just really to get, like you said, to get away from all the distractions, and really try and build this quiet relationship with mm. God, where you feel like you're just conversing directly to Him. Yes, yeah, so I remember I was re I was preparing a homily one day, and um, I read this little comment by a psychoanalyst, and he said if if everyone spent a few moments with God alone every day in meditation he would be out of a job. It's a very, wow. very uh, humble statement wow, to make. Wow, yeah. But it just, it makes a point that yeah. we, we, we are spiritual beings. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has a spiritual side to them and we need to communicate with, with God. Mm. Uh, and in that way, we find peace by being very honest with God, whether we're being good, bad, or, or whatever we've done or not done or yeah. whatever we want or we feel we need, or how, how we feel we're to deficient. To be authentic, yeah. To be just perfectly honest with yeah. God and talk to him as though you're talking to your best friend, which he is. Yes. I was reading something about the visionaries, and they were saying, with heaven, hell, and purgatory, they said, when we die, we decide where we're going. We talk to God, and we say where we yes. feel we deserve to go. Yes. We make the decision whether we deserve to go to heaven, whether we go to hell, and whether we, or whether we go to purgatory. But we're given, like I suppose, we're very honest. Then you know we're in front of yes. God, so we yes. have to tell the truth, yes. and we make the. He doesn't send us to hell. He doesn't send us to he, to he, heaven or purgatory. We decide. So we have to live a very good life on earth, yes. so that we can clearly say, "Yes, I deserve to go to heaven." Yes, you know? uh, yes. Uh, well, let's all aim for heaven yeah. anyway, <laughs> even though we're little yeah. hiccups along the road. And, yeah. But you, you, yes. That's a good point you make. Beautiful, yeah. Our Lady then said as well in that same sentence, you'll be born to a new life in God's love and you will open your heart to heaven and the things of heaven. So when we're in this space, we'll be opening our hearts while we're here on earth to heaven and the things of heaven. So we'll be mm. making the kind of connection, the phone connection to heaven while we're here on earth because we'll be yeah, so receiving things from heaven. Um and in heaven, Our Lady said, I mean, the visionaries have said that everybody walks around in um, pink or red robes, yellow and grey. That's what Vitska yes. said. Oh, and yes. I think um, Ivan said blue or purple robes and gold and grey robes is what he saw when he went there. And they're all walking, praying and singing. And they said it's like an endless, infinite, like almost like a 
garden area, but it's just endless. There's no yes. barriers. There's no yes. gates. It's just yes. like infinite garden and um, meadows, Mariana Sorry. was saying. So yes, we don't understand that, <laughs> yeah. do we? We've, and it's a light that we've yeah. never seen on Earth, you know? Yes. So, yes. All right, well, we'll have to go to a break now. Thank you, Marella. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich and we're here with Father Peter Fawerda. If you just joined us, welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. And we're nearing the end of the message. Our Lady said she was talking, I'll read the sentence from the beginning. Today I'm calling you to a new life. It is not important how old you are. Open your heart to Jesus who will transform you in this time of grace. And like nature, you'll be born into a new life in God's love. And you will open your heart to heaven and the things of heaven. I am still with you because God permitted me out of love for you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So I'm still with you because God God has permitted Our Lady to be with us out of love. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, us, I, I'm yeah. so grateful for that. Yes. You know, when Our Lady is so comforting there. She's continually telling us she's with us. Mm -hmm. So it's very comforting for mm. pe perhaps people who uh, need a bit of consolation, whatever yeah. crisis they may be experiencing, mm. and and to I'm hoping that these messages um, help you and me and anyone who's mm. uh, looking at this program to mm. open up our hearts to Mary yeah. and to Jesus, and so to feel the experience their presence in mm. our lives. Even so if I can't sleep, I'll just play Mary's message and it'll just put me to sleep. It's just, yes. it's the most beautiful, they're the most beautiful words. Yes, they are. You know, they're just, there's just so much in her messages to meditate on and to be grateful for. Yes. And we're, it's, it's a miracle. She's coming to earth from heaven to give us these messages. Yes. It's, yes. it's an absolute miracle. And we're so lucky to be having this. And this, well, she keeps calling this time, this time of grace. So time we are in grace. a time of grace. I don't know what yes. it's going to be like later. <laughs> but yes. We're so blessed, yeah. as you say. It is a time of grace. And and also, in your experience of going to Medjugorje, what sort of transformation, since we're, this message is all about the transforming, allowing Jesus, open our heart to Jesus, so who will transform us? Have you seen transformations in people? Yes. Um, yes, Mirella. Um, over all the visits I've made there, at 22 in number now, I, I've seen not only transformation in myself, and I needed to be transformed, I needed conversion, just like anyone else, um, but I've seen transformation in other people, particularly when I've taken pilgrimage groups mm. to Medjugorje. Uh, I notice the, uh, they go to Mass uh, during the week as well mm. as at the weekend when they can. Mm. Cause some of them have responsibilities, so they can't always go to weekday Masses. Mm. But I've certainly noticed a difference in the mm. people that have come in the groups and mm -hmm. And they talk about it, and uh, one lady in my own parish has put up a little grotto of Our Lady mm. in front, uh, in on the in the front nature strip there. Yeah. So it does affect oh, people. Oh wow, that's beautiful. It does affect people, and um, yes, I've met all sorts of people with all sorts of uh, life situations there. And I remember a man and lady had decided to divorce and they mm. came to Medjugorje to give it a last shot, so wow. as to speak. And they were telling me that this was the case. And then when they came to Medjugorje uh, and were there for a few days, they reconciled with one another mm. and uh, they said, we're going to commit ourselves mm. to one another for the it's rest just, of our lives, yeah, yes. It's, it's just a miraculous place. I remember Leon the Grand used to make these movies, these videos about Medjugorje. Oh, yes. And you, you would see children, even children, teenagers, just sitting at the statue, crying their eyes out, like they, just, like they were emptying everything out. And even children, yes. you know, it's just like everyone felt safe there. 
Yes. And a guy on his motorbike, he was just literally lying on his motorbike holding his rosary bead, a tough looking guy, you know. <laughs> Everybody pours their heart out and they yes. feel this peace there. They feel they can just be who they are with God yes. and rest in God, you know. You can see that everywhere there. Yes, it's a place of peace. There's an aura there and it's never been diminished in my Thanks all my God. 22 visits. Yeah. Last one being last year in 2018. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, there's an aura there of yeah. peace and prayerfulness yeah. and just to be amidst people who yeah. uh, are there to pray and to beseech Our Lady for whatever help they need yeah. and so forth is just a beautiful thing for me as a priest or even if I wasn't a priest, I just like yeah. being with people who are like that. Exactly, and the whole village is like that. Everywhere yes. you walk, in the shop. Yes. Yes. In the church, down the street, the conversation's all about God and Our Lady. Yes. Every interaction, it's just, it's like another world. Yes. <laughs> it is. It of is love. Like, it's like a world of love and peace. It, it is. Yeah. It is. Yes, that's my experience of it too. And the visionaries, I first went there in 1988 with my parents. Yeah. And oh. um, the visionaries have remained the same, just ordinary people yes. willing to talk to you. Yeah. I met Ivan and... In yeah. one of the shops uh, a year or two oh. ago, and we were having a little conversation. Oh, Very ordinary yeah. young man. Yeah. I suppose he's in the early 50s by now. Yeah. But um, they've, they, they haven't changed. Yeah. There's no affectation. They're yeah. just ordinary people, yeah. and they've told the same story. It's been unchanged, it's yeah. been consistent throughout all the yeah. years that I've been there. It's amazing. Yes. And even when I met Ivan, too, I went on a pilgrimage at his house. And just speaking to him, because like, at one point he said to go, we could all go one-on-one -on -one and have a little bit of a chat with him. And when I was just speaking to him, I just thought, I believe, I believe. I didn't have to say anything. I was, you know, whatever he wanted yes. to talk about, just I, just, I could just believe. I thought, mm -hmm. he really is seeing, like the words that were coming in my heart when I was just talking to him, was mm -hmm. like, you really are seeing LA. It's yes. just like, there is no affectations. There is no um, airs and graces. It's, no. He is seeing Our Lady. It's yes. just so real. Yes. You can just, you feel it. You feel it. It's like in the air. And Father, before we finish the program, would you be able to give us a blessing? Because the visionaries have said that when the priest gives you a blessing, it's as if Jesus' hands are blessing you himself. So we, all of us here in the studio and all the viewers watching would love a blessing from Jesus in you. Thank you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, and thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you very much, Marilla. You've been watching Spirit of Life. I hope you enjoyed the program, and may God bless you, keep you healthy, happy, and safe always. Bye for now. Oh